I think of these uh, terms which have become very popular recently um, with the metaphor of being asleep and waking up. So there is definitely a very clear step that takes place when somebody discovers that they are not who they thought they were. It's like waking up. And you have always identified yourself with your roles, with your skills, with your different relationships as a father, as a friend, or as a this, or as a that, or as a male, or a female. You've always pegged your identity because you wanted to have an anchor into all of these things. So the first step I consider of this process of um, higher consciousness is awakening. You wake up from the slumber of the so-called you, of the biographical you, of the mental processes and all of the other things of your memories and personal and CV and all of that. So away, you are awakened to the fact that you're not what you thought you were. There is something far greater, far more potent, far more powerful, far more durable within you. And all of those aspects that you have considered to be the so-called you are there, but they are not self-sustaining, self-supporting, they're transitory, and you have changed. The I you called yourself when you were six years old, is also you still call yourself I at the age of 45, but is it the same? So you begin to wake up that there's another real source of light of the so-called you. So this is awakening. Then the next one I consider is being illumined. Now you're beginning to see that all of the so-called you of the past is there, but it is not self-sustaining. It is only there as a shadow or as a reflector of something higher, more durable, more subtle, more energy related or more light related, and that is your soul or spirit. So you're illumined to the fact that you are now a soul or a spirit energizing the body and the mind and the biography, the so-called you. You are now illumined to the fact that the awakened you and the old sleep you are all part and parcel of the light that has been shed, shed upon them by your soul. So you are now illumined. And the, the third level is enlightened. Enlightened now is across the whole board. Enlightenment is to do with oneness. Now you look at the whole universe through the lens of oneness. They are all connected. They are all they're related. There is no such thing as space or time other than as an illusion for the seed of the so-called identity and the plethora of existence to grow. In reality, there is only oneness. In reality, there is only the light of the sacred and one. And in order to realize it, it had to be incubated in this, if you like, earthly little nursery of duality, he and I and it and it and all of, the, all of the complementary dualities as well as the opposing dualities and so on. So enlightened is that now you see through the lens of the one what appears in the outer to be diverse and two.